And I realized Wizro does have a history of playing his absolute best at events run by Team Optic. Ooh, that's Optic right. Arena was the hardest I've ever seen Wizzy beat the brakes off. H Everyone remembers that set, or those and, two sets. And that pop-off pop pop is historic. One exactly. Of, one, of, one of Wizzy's best pop-offs. Wizzy pop is a noted and very long-time Team Optic fanboy. That is actually something that has always been a part of Wizzy. Wizzy's you know, kind of kind of always kind of uh, idolized, I think, the Optic brand. And of course, the boys at TST running the show here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, 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 a beloved Team Optic, uh, you know, franchise, essentially. Mm -hmm. I think it makes sense that Wizzy's here to show out and Absolutely. show off. Absolutely. And speaking of Falcon mains like Wizzy, we got Salt. Falcon main Salt here on stream versus SFAT. This is going to be an interesting set. In terms of their stats, it's actually six to two in SFAT's favor. Okay, makes but the sense. last time they played was at an online tournament, right? So they really haven't met in Person. IRL except at Genesis 8, where it was 3-0 for SFAT. Yeah, and I feel like Salt is also the kind of player where, you know, Salt's stock is on the rise, right? Salt's right. on that up and up. Salt is doing better and better every tournament. You know, we had, uh, you know, a couple events coming out of the pandemic where Salt was showing up and, and doing okay. You know, beating some good players here and there and definitely having a lot of high red rules. So I think Salt definitely being a highlight reel kind of player. Absolutely. Extremely flashy, extremely fast. But, you know, through the past year, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, Salt's taking left into game five. The you most, know what I'm saying? The like, most impressive thing was making Plup switch off of Sheik. In right. Falcon versus Plup. That is crazy. That is crazy. That, is that crazy. happened in Genesis, uh, Genesis, by the way, as right. well. So Salt has had a really strong year as well. And yeah. SFAT, one of the most consistent players in the game. In the game. Been around for a long, long time, always in that kind of top 20, top 15, top 20, uh, top 10 echelon, you know, in right. terms of in terms of skill. So SFAT are we gonna, on a hot are day. We gonna do this? Oh, that's right. SFAT on a hot day. On a hot day. But and even game. sometimes on a, on a bit of a chillier day, which it is today here in uh, Arlington, Texas. Cheers, Vish. Cheers. Do we know if they hit that tequila goal? I'm not sure. I would love to share a drink with our players. <laughs> there is one incentive where the grand final players will have to take a shot of tequila along with the casters. Yeah, I don't think they, they literally have to. They don't have uh, to. Because, I mean, you know, they're, they're offered. They're offered. <laughs> you know, like dare to dare resist, you know, <laughs> all that. But they, they're offered they're kindly. Offered, they're offered. Uh, and let me tell you, you know, I've been to a couple events like Air. Uh, you didn't you never went to an air, did you? I've not been to air, an air. Instead of getting a top eight medal or a trophy, they actually just give you a shot, oh, and you take it on stage with the whole. It's anyway, it's very wonderful. But here we are, game one on Dreamland. Actually, this is a state. Oh, oh, I love it. You love to see that. That's so good. But the oh, drop off back here is actually so good to because see that. sometimes Falcon might do like the jump stomp to get the up B on its way up, but just falling down with back here is so good. Right, because you can wall tag, mm. you can meteor cancel, but you can't do anything about that back air Vish. Absolutely, you give them an option, but here, Salt. Oh, Salt. Oh, the oh. W. Oh, missing the dash. Oh, but no, it's death. It's death. It's death. S Matt's gonna have to get on the board here in terms of stocks, Vish. I gotta tell you. Oh, well, that moonwalk in the past. Billy G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! The, that was definitely meant to be a no, runoff. No, my my voice is a little shot from Big House. It's, it's still, <laughs> still. Alex nineteen knows why. Oh! oh! Ooh, the turnaround before the down. Salt is trying to end my man's. Are you seeing this? This is an attempted ending, Vish. This is a this is a difficult match for me to commentate because because Salt's trying to end S Fat. Not that, but I love S Fat. But Salt <laughs> did so well in the crew battle yesterday on uh, Team Vish's behalf that kind of on root for them. Salt did take 10 stocks. Yeah. After, and, 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 That's and, right. and, and the funniest part is Salt took 10 stocks after immediately losing two, like really badly. Two off of Spud, yeah. Off of Spud and like while missing a bunch of tech kill. And then just like powered up and took 10 stocks in a row. It, it was extremely impressive. Oh, look, the edge canceled, the movement, the follow-ups. Salt's got it all. If there's one thing SFAT is really good at, is kind of stopping this kind of momentum. Oh, that's the Bobby Scar. That's God. the Bobby Scar. That's the Bobby Scar. Vish, admit it. That's the Bobby Scar. That's the Bobby Scar. Thank you. We can, now we can move on. <laughs> Not kneeing and wave landing on the platform and doing the down smash is the Bobby Scar. Lately, it's been kind of the, the Bobby Scar. The well, nun. it's more of the Bobby Scar. A little bit of the nun. But mostly, I would say the Bobby Scar. And nowadays, it's actually called the Salt. The Bobby Scar. So moving on, three stocks to one. 
Ooh, back, oh, back throw. throw. You never know if it's an accident on, on purpose. I think that one is an accident. I think back throw in general is an accident from Falcon because every other throw sets up way better. Even for edge guarding yeah. situations, the back throw doesn't send that far. Yeah, and it's it's very like laggy, <laughs> and you can act out of it very quickly. Oh, but Saul oh, says oh. Nair to drop zone. Oh, 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 oh. that was dirty. That was dirty. Okay, Asphat kind of got tossed a little bit. I got to tell you that game. I don't um, think that's indicative of how the set may or may not go. Because I feel like Esfat is someone that can gain momentum as the set progresses, and also is very strong at stopping momentum once he has some of these neutral exchanges that he wants. I think even specifically versus Falcon. Yeah. I think Esfat's pretty decent versus Falcon. Definitely. No, Esfat has a ton of experience oh, in this match. Wow. That's the same edge guard from game one. I'm getting flashbacks, Vish. I'm getting deja vu. Deja oh. vu. <laughs> Uh, reading the tech away. Man, the Salt is on one right now. Zach's got to power up. Zach being as fat, of course. Of course. Ooh, and the edge cancels. The scary part about the stage, yeah. about counterpicking Falcon to the stage, is that if you have a Falcon that can do edge cancels really well, it's kind of difficult. Because yeah. the, the movement from Salt, you know they're going to be dancing on all the platforms. Right, right, right. I think that if you try to play the grounded style, you can tend to get interrupted because that platform is like just the right height to make it so Falcon can't get, you know, short hop knees. But on the flip side, if you can dance around the platforms, you don't need to play the ground game. By the way, that was really good DI from SFAT on that first up air, but Salt still gets the conversion in the, uh, the edge guard. Because that was like hard DI away on the up air. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. S I thought Esfat had the roll. I thought he sniffed it out like a, like a, like a bloodhound. I was trying to think of a word that started with S N, like a snout, <laughs> from a sniper, like a, like a snake, like a snake. Snakes don't really use their sense of scent, though. Right? No, it's more their tongue. Their, 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 their oh, oh, the counter knee, the jump back, knee. the defensive knee. Oh, Again, the, the defensive oh, knee. Yeah, Esfat just jumping into the knee. Yeah, looking like my man. Um, you ever seen Robin Hood Men in Tights? Go on. You know in that last fight scene where the Duke of uh, what's oh, his name? Oh, speaking of the last fight scene, oh, that the conversion. Last fight, that's, that's the last the, fight scene right there. That's right. He ain't you know gonna be in rush. He runs right into the sword. And he's, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? He ain't gonna be in rush hour three. He ain't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. oh no! Speaking of the last fight scene. Oh man. The <laughs> okay. Oh, oh that smash DI. Did you see that smash DI from SFAT? I remember after game one, we were thinking, look, that, that game one is not going to be indicative of how the rest of the set goes. But I'm worried that right now, it might have been a little bit indicative ish. I still have faith in Zach Cordoni. Okay. Well, Zach Cordoni's got to start having faith in Zach Cordoni. Okay, okay love that. Clean edge guard. Clean Fox edge guard. does the splits. Mm -hmm, Knocks mm -hmm. kept Falcon right on out of there. Oh, oh. these side piece. I'm scared. Edge cancels coming out from Salt. Okay, waiting oh. for the roll, but Salt playing out of the corner really well. Just kind of standing still sometimes is good out of the corner because people like S5 want to sniff out that defensive option out of the corner. That's right. Okay, clean edge guard. Definitely, yeah. S5, uh not looking comfortable yet, let's say. That's right. Okie dokie. Oh my god. Okay, wow. S5 rebounding off that knee. Mm -hmm. uh, better than my last breakup. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Salt still gets the game. That's exactly oh. right. That's exactly Sim right. Similar to your last breakup. <laughs> oh, oh, the double! Oh, the double! <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, gets the. I'm, I gotta tell you, I mean, for SFAT right now, you just you just gotta get on the board. Oh, that was almost so scary. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for Salt, that oh. actually worked out so well for SFAT. I actually really like the shine there because, you know, you can set up for an edge guard, especially when Falcon doesn't have the jump. Don't jump into that down smash. Please. Oh, yeah, that was really scary. Please, please, please. You know, what, you know what's worrying me right now in terms of SFAT's movement? Something that I would want uh, him to clean up is I feel like he's playing kind of nervous off the ledge. Um. But I so can. far, I mean, this game's working out, but hang on a minute. This is how it all goes south. I think a lot of this is off oh! the ledge. Oh! Let the seat. See, see what I mean about the ledge thing? Mm -hmm. SFAT's going for these fire stalls, but missing the stall. That's right. Oh, I That's see what you're saying. That's happened two or three times. It's usually a sign that someone's nervous off the ledge. And Salt is also putting a lot of like these, these back airs in that position of the ledge, right? So if you're a little bit off on your ledge play, you're going to just get KO'd like just that. Exactly just like, like that, that Just like that stall. Are you a psychic? Oh. Call me Hypno. My hypno. hypno. Really? I said hypno. psychic, and your, fir your the first <laughs> psychic Pokemon for you that comes to mind is Hypno. 
I like the pendulum. Are you not like I like you the pendulum. Too? I like the pendulum, dude. I, I got a thing for Andy. You're, you are right. okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Definitely. Get to the tech chase. Oh, I'm going. Ah, maybe just grab her up tilt there. Oh, oh gets get the, the jump. jump. That's it. Salt. But Salt's still up 2-1. That's right. They uh, are going to have counter pick advantage with us. So for people coming in from other scenes, Call of Duty viewers out there, everybody. I know you played Super Smash Brothers Melee back in your dorms, but tournament we do things a little bit different. We got a couple stages you can pick, obviously. All mm -hmm. the Melee viewers, bear with me, okay? I'm explaining this for the Call of Duty guys. Uh, and now that, you know, basically Salt is the one who is in the driver's seat in terms of being up in the set, Salt's going to have counter pick advantage, going to get to pick the stage for each of the games and the rest of the set. Okay. Yeah. That makes that makes sense. That's right, Tove. Well, hey, we'll explain. We'll thank explain. you, the, the Andrew, That could be huge in a matchup like this. Absolutely. I was going to say, the thing that Falcon does not have going for him is that the counterpicks versus Fox aren't, like, hard counterpicks, right? Like, Battlefield is not bad for Fox. There's some advantages that you gain from Falcon, right. but it's not a bad Fox stage by any means. But, wow, Salt popping off already, getting the first stock very cleanly. The combo game, I think. It's been entirely on Salt's end, right? Oh, yeah. Well, but, I mean, that's what we expect out of Salt. Salt, a Texas, you know, local legend. Oh, oh you're dead! Oh, oh, my. Salt tried to put a little bit of je ne sais quoi on it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. But the Nair didn't even uh, need to connect because I think Battlefield finished the job. The nice part about that Nair is that if you have miscalculated the up B of Fox, that Nair will still kind of clip and send you back off stage and potentially right. continue the edge guard. Often you'll only hit with the first hit, so they just drop straight down. Exactly, exactly. Which is actually like, kind of even better. No, yeah, for, for edge guarding Fox, it's, it's very solid. Right. And by the way, I, I'd like to remind everybody this is losers. Losers round three. That's right, losers round three. And that means that if SFET is, uh, if he loses this game, he is out of the tournament. Mm. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And Saul going for the tech chase right now. Okay. Oh, the, the, double, the double down throw. Doesn't even need to connect with a knee. Oh, okay. Oh, I, my I, God. Oh, what an SPI out of the drill. I mean, downer one of Fox's best moves, but if you are ready for it, you can smash the eye out and just counterattack. It doesn't even combo. Oh, the tech oh. chase. The salt tech chase was so clean. I got to tell you, Vish, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's oh, it. the double. Oh, oh you yeah, hate to leave the tournament like that, Vish. You're going to feel that one in the morning. That was, wild. That, was, that was a wild way to end that set. But... Salt just tried to do S fat the way none did Salt at the end of the crew battle. Yesterday. At the end of the crew battle. Sorry that's to bring right. that up. That's right. Hate to bring that up. Salt playing on fire. Salt playing, that's right. The, the tech chasing, the edge guarding, I think a lot of that set also was Salt was able to do like these jump back aerials that actually caught. Um, some of the edge guarding attempts that S Fat had. Oh, especially the knee, because we see yeah. Nun go for that a lot with up air. You know, which is which is logical because Nun, uh, having a lot of Ganon experience, mm -hmm. usually Ganon's going to throw out that up air to prevent people from, like, say, run off shine spiking, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Salt takes that one level further. Why up air when I could just knee you? Even like uh, jump back Nair a couple times. Oh, that was times. so good. By the way, that's also the Bobby Scar. Um, <laughs> everyone knows down throw into drop zone is the sounds. Sounds like the Jeff. But doing Nair or other moves that aren't down throw into the runoff knee is actually the Bobby Scar. Mm. Got to give credit, credit where credit is due. That's right. But see, like, those jump back aerials are actually so solid. And also... Oh! Oh! Somebody watch that Johnny clip from Johnny's YouTube. That's the same. As long as you're up in stocks, great play. Johnny's over there in the melee setup's like, yeah, I did do that. That's the Johnny, com Johnny combo. That is the Johnny combo. Oh my god. Vish side B's there. Would you side beat? Would you have gone off stage and side beat? Mm, maybe you not. would have side beat. Maybe. Right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes, yeah. I would. Yes, Vish side B's there. Oh, I can't believe oh. that connected. Oh, I just can't even. That, that is very rare. That is very rare. Has that out of the tournament? At seven. At seven. And Salt, I gotta say, I mean, you know, Salt's definitely been on the up and up, but. Um, this is a Solid really big win. I think taking out SFAT, especially taking out SFAT like that, that was convincing. I'm sitting here feeling convinced. I really feel like the the combo game, specifically with the yeah. Tech Chase game yeah. from Salt, yeah. is really solid. Really in, solid. In, in, in terms of getting 
It felt like kind of wizzy. Wait, can you hold your head up at that angle again? Kind of wizzy s. Oh, the light bounces off your glasses oh, in thank such you. a cool way when thank you angle you. your head at that angle. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I feel like it was consistent in the way that wizzy is, but in like a completely different way. Completely different. You know? Like on the, the knockdowns, it felt like the, the conversions were there, but it was a more like, okay, I'm going to do like a stomp, edge cancel, you know, then chase down with like a dash into grab, things like that to cover, cover like the rolls and whatnot. So it just felt... Consistent, but in a different way than Wizzy. Consistent, but in a different way than Wizzy. I like that. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no, you know, that's the beauty of Super Smash Bros. Melee, right? People come out and they're like, well, don't you guys all play, like, you know, only a couple characters? And then it's like, well, one, no, because Omsa just won the biggest tournament of all time, or the hardest tournament of all time, I should with say, with Yoshi. Yoshi. But then on the 